Today's numbers were not as encouraging at the state's top health officer had hoped for. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson says Alabama is not showing a consistent downward trend. Rachel, the threat is still very real. And Kim, the state's top doctor says with the loosened restrictions, he is seeing some outbreaks. In an interview with the Associated Press, Alabama State Health Officer Scott Harris warned the public the danger has not gone away. He admits the numbers are not as good as he had hoped. Alabama has added as many as 350 new cases per day in the past two weeks. Mobile County makes up 14% of cases statewide. The county is not seeing a flattening in its numbers. Take a look at this chart. In the past 14 days, the numbers are up and down. It looks as if things are fairly stable, maybe dipping a little bit. So since the 1st of May, that 14-day um, moving average has been anywhere between 33 and 44 cases daily. Dr. Rindy Murphy with the Mobile County Health Department says 20% of Alabama COVID-19 deaths are from Mobile County alone, with most of those coming from long-term care facilities. I think as many as 25% of our cases are attributed or connected to um, long-term care residents or staff, and over half of our deaths are among um, long-term care residents or staff. So that's part of the reason that we have, um, you know, a lot more cases than some other areas of the state. Dr. Scott Harris said he believes the state is now meeting the White House criteria to proceed to an initial reopening by having a downward trajectory for two weeks in the percentage of positive case tests, but that might not apply to every single county. We'll be watching the numbers, Kim.